Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to enable the history for task scheduler jobs and then we'll show you where to find the logs for these jobs in case you need to review them. So you notice if you go into task scheduler that history is disabled so you don't get to see what's going on with your uh, jobs here. So it's very easy to enable. All you need to do is go over to the pane on the right here and click on enable all tasks history. And once you do that, you'll see that it doesn't say disabled any longer. So now to find the logs for these jobs, you want to go to the event viewer, which I have open here. So what you want to do is go to applications and services logs, then Microsoft, then Windows, and then scroll down. to task scheduler and then you want to look at the operational log here all right so right now we don't have any events so if we go back to task scheduler let's see if we could find something to run here real quick let's try this system restore point all right so we'll pause the video and give that a few minutes to run and then we'll be back okay so the task has completed and you'll see now that you have some logs down here and then if we go back to event viewer you refresh here as well and we have some information here as well that you can kind of scroll through until you find what you're looking for has some other logs here for some other tasks that have ran but when you're here you could open up the same logs by double clicking them just the only difference is if you go to event viewer you'll have everything in one place but of course you'll have to scroll down or filter or search Whereas if you use a task scheduler, you'll have to go to that specific job to see the uh, log history here. And you can just cycle through them like that. All right, so once again, just open up task scheduler. Then here you'll enable all task history. That'll enable it for everything. And then you could find the logs under each specific job, or you could go to event viewer under, let's go back to the top here. Applications and Services, Microsoft, Windows, Task Scheduler, and then Operational. And then, of course, if you want to turn off logging, just come back here and click on Disable, and everything will be disabled. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe.